Was the first summit between President Donald Trump and the North Korean dictator a victory for the US and uh, President Trump? I don't think so. I actually think that it was a victory for, uh, for North Korea and, and Kim. And the reason is because the document that these two leaders signed is very generic. There are no pledges. And uh, surprisingly, Trump made quite a few concessions without getting anything back from North Korea. And specifically, he pledged, not in the document afterwards, he pledged to stop completely uh, military exercises in, uh, in, Co in the Korean Peninsula that are joined with South Korea without notifying either South Korea or Japan. And, you know, those, those two countries didn't take that too well. So this is a major concession and, and Trump got nothing in return. Uh, basically, the reason why we got to this, to this bargaining table is because North Korea developed those nuclear weapons. It took them so little, less than a year, to go from a full, successful, first ever uh, test of an intercontinental ballistic missile to sitting side by side with the, the President of the United States as peers, something that, something that neither Kim's father or Kim's grandfather uh, managed to, to achieve. So uh, the reason why we got to the bargaining table is because they, North Korea developed these nuclear weapons and because there is no clear definition of denuclearization. So we're there to discuss denuclearization, but the very reason why we're able to sit next to each other, the United States and North Korea, is because they don't agree on this. And, and for North Korea, there is this very generic talk about uh, denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. It's very generic. And for, for the United States, instead, the concept of denuclearization is very precise, and it's complete, verifiable, and uh, um, irreversible, dismantlement of the North Korean nuclear uh, nuclear uh, arsenal. So there is nothing on the nuclearization in that deal. It might be too early, but I have reasons to be skeptical that, that the North Koreans will actually give away their nuclear weapons in the way that it's demanded by the United States. Think about the fact that the National Security Advisor Bolton, before the meeting, uh, said that the United States were looking for a Libyan solution where Gaddafi completely and unilaterally got rid of his nuclear weapons just to be overthrown a, f a few years afterwards. That's precisely the nightmare scenario for North Korea, who at the beginning also said, we're not, we don't want to deal anymore. If that's your stance, we don't want to deal. So all these enthusiasts for this meeting uh, it's a little bit uh, more about the show. So this is the first time ever that a president of the United States meets with, with the North Korean dictator, but in terms of substance, there is, there is not much and, and the road to peace is, is very hard.